your day has been very positive and productive thus far, but today I'm coming to you with an open invite, and it is for the gifted, thrifted, and these tablescape chapters. But before we get into this invite, if you want to learn how to style a beautiful home decor and create some stunning and fabulous DIYs using a lot of unconventional items and over-the-top glam tablescapes, this is the channel for me. But the lovely host of this channel is Shandy, and Shandy is in my fullest. Now, Shandy has a beautiful channel and it's amazing content. She does a few DIYs, amazing, amazing, amazing tablescapes. And she also is showcasing a series called Back Tuesdays on her channel. This is Flower Arrangement Tutorial Tuesday. If you're not a family member, with Shane, just go check her out. Now, the other co host is, is Jasmine Roberts. Now, Roberts has a lifestyle channel. She does some amazing home decor and home staging, tablescapes, and food DIY. Make sure if you're not a family member, it's just me not you check out her channel also. And make sure you let go of these ladies know that Candy sent you over to the channel. And I am also a co host, and you already know that I do on the court, DIYs for unconditional items, and glam over the top table stand. Okay guys, so you see today's video is actually another collab and with this collab I definitely want you guys to head over, check the playlist and watch the other ladies do what they do best, create and have fun. As you can see here, I'm taking an old pair of jeans as my DIY and I'm going to cut it according to the length of this existing placemat. These are going to be our placemats for today for the tablescape. I hope you guys enjoy. It's very simple and it was a lot of fun. So let's try that once again. We're going to take our placemat, lay it on top of the piece that we want to cut. And then we're gonna start by cutting a slit in both ends. And then we're gonna take one half and then go ahead and cut completely through the first layer. And then we'll follow through and cut the second layer. Here we're gonna take one of our pieces, we're gonna take it by the seam and cut along that first line. It's gonna be the piece where it's not doubled over and we're gonna just cut it all the way to the end. What I should have done here was actually cut the end piece off where you see the line, but I didn't do so because it would have come out a nice perfect circle, which you can use this in uh, future DIYs if you would like. But next we're gonna take it, fold it over so that it's flattened, and then we're gonna cut along the remaining of the seam. Make sure you're pushing out the piece that's folded over because that just makes it a lot easier to be able to cut. Now we're gonna start cutting that bottom hem. This is the piece that I was saying that we could have cut off earlier as one piece so that it leaves a complete circle, but we're doing it now. It's okay, mistakes happen, that's a part of DIY. Once again, we're going to lay our placemat on top of our pieces after we've cut all four and got them prepped. And we're just going to lay this this way and cut along the um, end of the placemat so that we get the correct length.
hope I explained that correct. Um, and this is what it looks like when you're all finished. And here we're gonna take the book wings from Dollar Tree and we're gonna actually take our twine rope and we're gonna make a napkin ring holder out of them. Let's grab our hot glue gun and get started. We're gonna put a dab of glue here and then we're gonna take our twine and hold it into place until it kind of firms. And then we're gonna just start by continuing to wrap and wrap and wrap. There's a lot of wrapping going on here. So make sure you have something to do, maybe put on a video and watch it while you do this project. It was very simple to do. I hope you guys try it. It's affordable and something that we all can add to our tablescapes. And here's the finished project. You just add you a nice uh, ornament, which I'm gonna use leaves as my option. And here I am placing our centerpiece down. This is a piece that was thrifted. This is another Dollar Tree piece um, for the glass. And I just filled it with some sand and some seashells that we got from the beach to do a coastal look. This candle is also another find from Dollar Tree that I just added the Chanel CC logos in between the quilted pattern. And this white piece that you see here is also from the thrift store. It states garlic on the front. The piece in the back um, also has another version of the Chanel candle. And this piece that it's housed in is a piece that I did in a previous video. I hope you guys are enjoying. And let's take a moment to remember to be grateful for all that we have. I hope you guys are staying safe.